Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We've got a Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.3 patch that's gone live. You can find Halloween loot in game now and Citizen Con hype. It, it's it's almost here. Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.3 is now live. It's got a few fixes. There's um, some ground vehicle speed adjustments as well, making the Grey Cat PTV faster and almost all other vehicles slower. One of the main points of this patch was to deal with server crashes and loot container changes and sort of balance for what items are going to be spawned in them. It's also presumed that this should now allow for Alpha 3.18 to go into the Evocati testing phase, at least for the persistent entity streaming feature. And we can expect testing shortly, though we haven't been given any confirmations of dates from Clan Imperium yet. Will CIG be able to make its target for a live build of 3.18 by mid-November? That's their plan. Or are some features going to slip into a 3.18.1 patch? Only time's going to tell. The Day of Vara, spooky Star Citizen, is running for the rest of the month. It's Halloween stuff in Star Citizen. We've got the return of hell-raising horrific helmets, so you can find some hats in-game. The sickening spread of ghoulish green liveries. You can get various Drake green paints that are horrible coloured, but some people like them. Um, and there's the annual pan-galactic pumpkin carving showdown and an all-new video contest as well. So a lot of cool stuff happening with the day of Vara or the month of Vara, I suppose. Keep an eye out as you pillage in October as a new black and green version of the Neville Lot Mask is available as in-game loot. You can also find the serial killer matching original and alien vandal mask in loot containers around the verse as well. So this is really interesting because it's not just something that's allocated to your account. You can find the item now and it's allocated to your account. So th th let's go into this. Will these masks be findable and lootable everywhere? Um, Clan Imperium have said, while sightings of these masks have been reported in various locations, they will not spawn in all areas. Derelict ships and underground facilities are two areas that escaped the hill horror this year. As these are found in game and then lootable, will we just lose these masks when we get the next wipe with Alpha 3.18? So Clan Imperium said here, Yes, we're, we're likely to perform a database wipe when 3.18 releases. This is due to the fact that the back end will have major reworks as long-awaited systems such as Persistence come online. To preserve the masks, we'll mark accounts that loot any of the Day of Vara masks during Alpha 3.17 and make sure to re-attribute one permanent copy each after the wipe so that you can continue the fright with Alpha 3.18. This will show up in your web hanger in 3.18 and sort of is a permanent attachment to your account. But there's more. For a cuddlier approach, the eerie Fieldsbury Dark Bear helmets are also available in the pledge store in all six sinister flavors and colors. Uh, like a cruel carnivorous slime that has developed sentience and run amok, assimilating innocent creatures into its web of torment, so does the ghoulish green paint scheme infect the remainder of Drake Interplanetary's ship range, spilling its toxicity onto the likes of the Herald, Vulture, and Mule. The Drake Vulture and its seasonal ghoulish green paint will be available with the release of Alpha 3.18, and the Vulture, Mule, Herald, Dragonfly, Gutsplat, Caterpillar, and Buccaneer are all available to buy as um, ships at the moment as well, and everything there other than the Vulture and the Mule is purchasable in-game um, right now as well, so bear that in mind. I believe the Vulture is going to be purchasable in game in 3.18 uh, as well. So you can get this stuff in game. You don't have to buy it with the real money. There is a pumpkin carbon contest. Carve something that's Star Citizen-y. Uh, I'll leave a link to the post down below so you can read details of that if you are so um, artistically inclined. There are also prizes for spooky videos and funny Star Citizen encounters. Again, um, links below if you're interested in getting involved with that stuff. There was a Star Citizen infographic looking at stats from the end of 2017 till present, there have been almost 31 million bounty hunting missions completed. So that's not ones that have been started or the ones that are incomplete, it's completed ones. So um, that, that's that's quite a lot. Earning almost 545 billion Alpha UEC, over 77 trillion in Alpha UEC of goods have been traded, almost 1.5 quadrillion kilometers has been traveled in quantum travel, and over um, 47 and a half thousand years have been sentenced to players in prison time. 
Uh, that's just interesting little figures there. I saw a little dev response as well with the original poster saying, now, post-COVID, have you opened a work from home or hybrid policy? Uh, Sullivan CIG res replied here, we do have a hybrid policy in place with some exceptions who do full remote due to their living place country, which is too far from the office. That means everyone is welcome to apply. Check out our job listings on our homepage. Hiring will be, of course, much easier if the applicant lives close or at least in the same country. CitizenCon 2952 slash CitizenCon 2022, whatever dates you want to give it, is only a few hours away. It starts at 3 p.m. UTC on Saturday, the 8th of October. You can watch it on the Star Citizen Twitch channel, so twitch.tv slash Star Citizen. Um, so there's going to be a load of pre-recorded panels and um, I believe some interactivity. There's some prizes, lots of stuff going on. So all the panels and presentations will be uploaded to YouTube in 4K the moment each presentation ends. We know there's at least seven presentations, around half an hour to an hour long each. Zin and I will be making summaries and context videos on these panels. There are going to be some presentations on ships, on pyro, the new resource management system, the power relay systems. There's a panel on new investigation missions, new underground bunkers, combat speed and flight changes, Lawville cityscape, and maybe more things as well. There is a digital goodies pack for all backers to, to get for free. As long as you're a backer, I believe you have to have spent at least $5 on your account to get that. Uh, but there's um, the jacket, a grenade launcher, and a party plushy star wall. Um, various giveaways throughout the day are going to be happening. Uh, JR Fabrication, who make Airfix Star Citizen ships officially, are going to be giving away some prizes, it seems. There's Toby Eye Tracker stuff going on, and probably some ships being thrown around too. Boom! That's it for your quick little news update. We have done videos on the monthly reports for both the Persistent Universe and Squadron 42. In the Squadron 42 one, we look at sort of AI for both games as well. We sort of split up that way just because I do. Go check out those videos if you're so inclined. I'll also link to the CitizenCon main uh, site so that you can see what's available. But we've got a video on that as well, going over all the details of what's happening at CitizenCon. Are you excited for CitizenCon? Are you going to be watching live? What do you think of all those silly stats of 1.5 quadrillion kilometers traveled in quantum? That seems quite a lot. That's more than I can fathom. Have you been playing 3.17.3? Have you noticed any differences to sort of stability or bug fixes? Are you looking fiendishly for those helmets, those hats, those special Halloween gifts that you can get in game now. Have you found any yet? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. NordCon 2952, the road to Nord 4.0. What do you want out of NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer? Nord base building? Nord hunting 2.0? A dynamic Nordonomy? I'm personally looking forward to the latest Nord Cruiser. In the meantime, I'm going to make do with NordVPN protecting my data from insidious space pirates and giving me unrivaled access to all the content that the internet has to offer. Use the links below. Note NordCon 2952 does not actually exist. Also adding to my shell pile, Toby Eye Tracker 5 gives you precise head tracking and control with your eyes. That's the sound of my eyes controlling the lasers giving you unprecedented immersion in Star Citizen. You can basically aim lasers with your eyes. Pew, pew! Use the links below and code BoardGamer for discount. Every month we have a ship giveaway for Star Citizen. For October, we're giving away a Cutlass Black with pirate skin, lifetime insurance, and Star Citizen game package. All you need to jump into the game. Just comment on any of my videos made during October to be in for a chance of winning that. If you would like to further support the channel, please consider becoming a channel member with the join button below my videos or potentially becoming a Patreon. You'll get access to some exclusive content and it really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video and have a great October.